Hi. Do you remember what I said about last week about time being sucked into a vortex? Well, I didn't say that. I just said there's something that happens between half eight and nine where... Sorry, what's going on? Why am I so close up? Go away. <laughs> oh, dear me. Always, always at the start of a video. I feel like really close to the camera. I don't know why. Anyway... I'm really sorry, I didn't notice the time, I must admit, I was... It's a computer. Computers just suck time, they... <laughs> without you even noticing it. Hi everyone, nice to have your company. <laughs> I've not even cleared my desk. I'll do that and just chat to you for two minutes. Um, yeah, I was having a... I clear it, I have a play, I clear it and I have a play. And I'm just getting my other device switched on so I can keep up with comments. My computer mic is on. My computer mic is on. Please explain yourself, Miss Ellie. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Welcome. So, if you didn't catch the memo or the brief that I did an hour ago, I said today is going to be slightly different. Um, and you're going to basically tell me what to do. <laughs> I just fancied a change. Um, so I've been doing a lot of card making and I haven't got time to try and think about another whole project. It's okay now, is it? I was going to say, I know I switched it off a minute ago before I came on live. <coughs> My monitor's on, but that'll switch off in a minute. Um, so, yes, if you missed the memo, I'm basically leaving it in your hands tonight. And I'm I'm leaving it up to you to tell me what sort of stamps or what stamps that you want me to play with, um, what I'm going to stamp, where I'm going to stamp it, what colours I'm going to stamp in. So this could be interesting. It could be a complete flop, but you know, it could be rather interesting at the same time. So I think the best place to do to start is decide on oh. Darlene started already. Let's just decide on <coughs> uh, basic white or very vanilla. I've got a tickle now. <coughs> <coughs> Taking my water into the kitchen. I see pinks, blacks and pinks and greys. <coughs> so you've chosen your colours already. Why am I so close to the camera? Thank you, Sheila. White. Are we thinking a, a one big sheet of white or are we thinking a card size? Are we thinking, what would you like me to do? Green and purple, says Anne. So what card size next? A big sheet. <laughs> a big sheet, I think Sheila's trying to say a big sheet. 12 by 12, says Anne. Da -da -da. Okay, your wish is my command today. 12 by 12. I must have got 12 by 12. Yes, I have. Okay, are you thinking a wreath or are you just smaller, says Sheila? Well, I've somebody said 12 by 12 and a, a one sheet wonder. Right, I might have to do two different colours. A wreath, says Anne. Okay. I'm just going to kind of just go with, I know, I know, I asked, I know I asked. I still can't figure out why I'm so close to your screens. Give us some snaps at choices. Okay, how about I turn my camera around and you can survey my shelf. This isn't everything I've got, but um, I'm just going to stick these in randomly. Okay, um, I've borrowed that. And these two are available as well, but they're not as easy to use. So if I give you a closer look, hopefully you can see. Can you guys see that? So I'll leave it there until I get a few choices. So at the moment, we're going to do black, grey and pink. And then you, in a minute, you can choose what, what colours grey, what colour pink. But just for now... Lattice says Joanna, okay, so I've got a lattice die I can use. I could do that. Oh, a lattice shaped, you mean a lattice shaped one sheet wonder rather than a wreath. 
But how about I use a lattice shape die? How about that if I can find it? Hold on a minute, because guys, I can't keep up. I'm trying to find the lattice shape die as a compromise, but I can't find it this second. And I've lost comments. True beauty and lovely you. True beauty. True beauty. Lovely you. Don't know what you have. Art gallery. I, I've borrowed art gallery <coughs> and dragonflies. Right, stop. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Right, I'm going to find the lattice die. Give me a sec. I've got to find the lattice. Hmm. Have I got a lattice die missing? Or is it in another one? It's in this one, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to do a lattice die and then we can. I can do some... Something with that. Okay, so we've got the choices, the viewer's choice tonight. Okay, you are the creative directors. You've chosen white 12 by 12. Yes, and make a good mask. So I'm just going to run this through quickly with some cards so that I'm not. Um, I'll tell you what I can use. That might be useful. It's my masking paper. And then I can reposition it where I want it to go, maybe. How about that? So just stop comments for a minute. <laughs> and I'll just give me a chance to... Oops. To just run this through. And then you can give me some more suggestions in a mo. I've just made a nice hot mess of myself. But that's okay. This paper really smells sort of chemically. Okay, so this is what I've done. Artistically inked. I haven't got that anymore. Um, what I could really do with is my comments on a different device. So has this got battery? No, it's just died on me. Okay. So, let's see what we've got. Uh... <laughs> the lattice makes a good mask, says Cheryl. It won't sh shield germs, though, says Ellie. Um... Hi, Tracy. Hi, everyone that's just joined. Okay, so, so far, I've got myself a lattice. I've got some colour, some stamps, 12 by 12 white sheets, and the colour combination of black, greys, black, grey and pink. So, what colours would you like? I'm thinking, <coughs> some said purple and green as well, but um, let's do all of it. Let's do purples, green, black and grey. We'll see what we, we come up with. <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling generous tonight, aren't I? Go on then, pick your colours. Magenta. Oh, magenta's not there anymore because it's an ink colour. And the ink colours are gone. It's got to it's got to be a grey oh dear, don't zoom in and out. It's got to be grey, pink, black, which obviously black's black, isn't it? And purple and green. So gorgeous, great. Melon Mambo. Keep going, folks. Gonna be here all night. I need a green and a grey. Granny. So you can chuck in another pink, um, or, or like, should we do kind of matching colours? Hi Carol, smoky slate, two greys, basic grey, how about that? I think I can, I want to add to these pinks as well, so I, is it okay if I go for polished and parakeet? Maybe... Uh, now petal, I struggle with petal because it's quite a a dirty pink in comparison. Um, Grey granite, 
So did somebody already say smoky slate? Yes. Okay. So sorry if you don't get chosen or if I miss your comments. I'm just trying to keep up with you all. Right, I think I'd like to lay down some colour. And the easiest way of doing this is probably by starting with the grey. This, I've just cut this out using the masking paper. So I'm going to come in with my smoky slate to start creating a bit of a... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. When will I ever learn to rub off a little bit first before you come in? I'm just going to create a few patches. With the lattice. That's how I would start. Oh, good. I'm on par with Sheila. <laughs> now, please stop zooming in and out because you're going to bother me. So, yeah, don't let a whole sheet overwhelm you. Just start with... Oh, that's got torn. Start with a bit at a time. And I'm going to do rules of three. Okay, this is really not liking it. It's breaking up a bit. Very delicate. And I'm not delicate, I'm quite rough. <laughs> I think we'll scrap that one. I'll just put it to the side for now in case I need it again later. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll start with some big flowers. Maybe something from Art Gallery. Do you want some nice big pink flowers? Actually, I'm going to bring in... Okay, you can choose another purple. I think I might need more purple than orchid because that orchid kind of lies in between. But um, maybe choose another purple. And then, so polished pink, says Joanna. Okay, so we're going to do some big, bold pink flowers. And then we'll, we'll work from there. Freesia came in, so we'll go with Freesia. So polished pink. So I'm going to use the mambo as well. Sometimes I like to do the outline stamp first. And then come in with the other one. Now, do I want a straight up, straight down wreath? If you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so this is that was Melon Mambo. I'm going to come in with polished pink. And I'm going to use that as my filler. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. Okay, what next guys? I'm thinking of going down to a smaller, okay you choose what flower, one, two or three, one, two or three. And I'm guessing we're going to go in with some, some purples. Claire's voted for three, three, if I had two votes for three, if I had loads of votes for three. So we're going to go in with this one. And gorgeous, great, more fresh freesia. You've got to be quick on those fingers. Hi, Mary. Nice to see you. We had inclement weather on the weekend when I was away. And you're out picking up branches. Go. We're having a creative director moment where you've got to direct me where you want to go. GG. Gorgeous, great, great. I feel like I've not maybe put give myself enough uh, flowers here but then might we'll just we'll just keep filling it in <laughs> okay so we need let's use this and right do you want to use this one 
right or left, right or left. And then I'm going to come in with fresh, fresh over these, right or left. Got to be quick, be snappy. Right. Two votes, loads of votes, right. Okay, we're going to use this one. Now, you, the comments might come in a bit different from how they come in from my device, but um, that's that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. So this is using Fresh Freesia. Actually, this is filling it in nicely. So we're yet to use our greens and our dark grey. Okay, ink your pad. Hello, hello. Yeah, it probably does need a bit of re-inking, you're right. Okay, take. Okay, next one. We're on to I think we'd better use. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna do some smaller. No, let's let's do this stamp set here. No, I'm gonna leave that to last. I want to do some more flowers. So, would you like A or B? A or B. <coughs> Hold on, hold on. A, B or C? A, B or C? Lots of A's coming in. Okay. And I'm just going to come back in with... Um, polished pink. Okay. Just going to sit some in amongst these. Bolster, bolster these up a little bit more. Can't see that one, so I'm just gonna have like a little dancing bouquet happening. Okay, right. And okay, so we said we we're gonna use this one. So B or C next, B or C. I'm just going to bring in some gorgeous great. I mean, I said I know you were directing me, but you know. C, B, C, B, B, B. Lots of B votes, so we're going to go in for B. Now, I haven't chucked in the green yet, Claire, <laughs> so watch out. The green's going to come. Just going to add some kind of pom-pom type flowers onto these. Twist in my stamp as I go. Let's twist that stamp like we did last summer. Let's twist that stamp like we did last year. Do you remember? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Let's twist that stamp. Okay. Got a little bit off piece there, but it's okay. We'll come back to you. I would leave you hanging. What green? Wow. Have you seen the green? Da, da, da. <laughs> if you was choice, if you was choice. Okay, so leafage. Uh, we haven't used this stamp and it's been chosen, so I'm going to use the leaf out of here. Um, okay, we're going to start with Granny Apple. So, um, would you like... It's easy if you type numbers, isn't it? One, two or three. One, two or three first. Get a block ready. 
One, three, two. <laughs> two, three, four. Oh, it's between two and one. Quietly watching while we're working. Toss up between two and one, I think. Okay, one just about got the vote there, so let's do one. And we're going with the granny apple green. Here it goes. Pew, oh, pew. <laughs> Does something, something. So we've still got some base of grey and we've still got black to go yet as well. Hi everybody just joining. So if you're just joining and wondering what on earth I'm, I've written in my title, you guys have been my creative directors tonight and you're telling me what to do. So I'm trying to incorporate the chat to see what people would like stamped. I'm going to stop there actually. Okay, we're going to go for Parakeet Party next. So, oh, I'm going to toss in. Okay, so one, uh, no, two, three, or four. Two, three, or four. Actually, scrap that idea. Two or three, I've got an idea. I'm going to use that with the grey. So two or three next for Parakeet Party. Sorry for those trying to vote for four. <laughs> sorry, scrap that. All right, we're going to use three. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, I'm just keeping on your toes as much as I'm being kept on mine. Three, three, three. <laughs> Says Karen. Three, three, three. Pew, pew. Okay, because I, I think what I'll do is, I, like I said, I'll use the, the, um, come in with the grey in a minute and use that. So this is viewer's choice of stamp set and colours and design, really, because you guys wanted to do a, a wreath. Now, the trouble with wreaths is I tend to... Um, go a little bit skew if, but I'm trying to keep circular. It might be a little bit lopsided, but I'm not too bad. I think I might need to just have an extension over here, like so. Okay, <clears throat> and you wanted lattice, so I compromised with the lattice background. So, um, if you are willing, I'm going to do this one, number four. With the grey, okay. I suppose half of you is choice, half my choice, really. <laughs> Be creative directors together. Okay, so I was thinking grey with this. Ooh. Okay, stamp there. <laughs> Not where I wanted you at all, but there we go. We're just going to go with the flow, Joe. It landed and I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> so we're going to make the most of it and just build it into the design. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> this is beautiful, says Janice. Thank you, Janice. Who knew, right, Janice? <coughs> it could have been a complete disaster. The green lily lifts it, says... Um, Janet, it looks really pretty, says Karen. Ooh, says Trisha. <laughs> I'm liking your oohs, Trisha. Ooh. So do share out the broadcast. Um, you never know who might join us and go, I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen somebody so crazy to, to do viewer's choice. <laughs> and look at the results. <laughs> And you can help me reach my next big YouTube target by sharing it out. Just saying. Okay, I'm getting a little bit carried away with the grey now. 
feel like pink is missing over here, but um, we can address that later. So the colour I've not used is black, some lick. So we could go tiny flower. Oh, haven't done dragonflies yet. So did we want the dragonfly, dragonfly or flower in, in the black? To use the black, put some swirls. I haven't got any swirls. What swirlage have I got? I haven't got a swirl. You could have stitching or you could have blobby bits. <laughs> Oats for the flowers in black. Or I could do... I haven't have I got any little dragonflies. Do you mean these squirmy little things here? Have I got a little dragonfly anywhere? Do any of our stamp sets have dragonfly? Do you, do you mean these ones, Sheila? Oh, Jessica, that's when you know you're a true artist. You can make something beautiful out of anything you're given. That's such a lovely thing to say. She means the little ones that I don't usually use. Okay. Okay, I might compromise and use the dragonflies and the black and this flower. Okay. Thank you, Vicky, for putting my details in. So I'm just going to add some black flowers. In the mist, in the midst, not the mist, the midst. Just the odd one, the I spy, my little eye. Can you spot the flowers? And then I'm going to go with the random um, dragonflies. I call them random, I just don't use them very much. Uh, and nestle one in there and there maybe there okay <laughs> yes Vicky don't share the wrong email address please <laughs> oh Vicky bless you she does such a good job of being admin here come the little critters Round of applause for my admin, please. Well done, Vicky. She's a star. Okay, enough of the little critters. That'll do. Okay, so have we used basic grey? Yes, we have. We've used it all. Phew! I think, I think we've used it all. And look at that time. In under 30 minutes. Are you impressed? And I got a little, you get a free Esther smudge. Dragonfly dotage, right? We can have dotage. What colour would you like? Pink, green, grey, or a combination? <laughs> yes, right. What colour dotage would you like? I'll do some splats. Grey, says. Grey, grey, grey. So I've got dark, smoky, so like a combo, says Karen. Okay, let's the right end of my thing of me oh i've got to tell you a story in a minute oh yes i like the gray i think it could do with some more pink yeah Um, so what pink is that? Mambo. That's polished. Let's give Mambo a bit of love. I think poor Mambo gets a little bit neglected because along comes all these other pinks and nobody remembers it anymore. So I could do with some just pink flowers in here. So let's have a look what we've got left. I could use number one. Right, number one or number two? Number, uh, where are you going? One or number two? And I'm going to add in some pink, fla smaller flowers. So, place your votes. 
Ooh, number one. That was very quick. Right, number one it is. I love the fact that you're thinking on the same page. <laughs> you're kind of like, it's like you've all, you're all sat in the same room deciding together. <laughs> I'm going to come in with polished pink. Just particularly this area here has got a little, little bit of pink neglect. Just going to show it some love. Um, I'm going to use those grey leaves as my bit of a basis. Okay, that's a bit better. We've got a bit of a patch going on here. Um, so it's really helpful having the screen actually because I can see what's going on. So it turned out beautiful, Esther. A very lovely wreath, perfect for framing. Thank you. So what I might do, I tell you what, when I get to my 5,000, how about I give this away? Do a little giveaway. Maybe I'll do that, folks. Okay, this is really ripping apart. <laughs> Do some more grey on my brush as well. It's just going to come back in. Have a one-off, completely unique piece of Stumpin' Star Creations artwork. Ask a question, please. <laughs> of course you can, Karen. Oh, you're so polite. Uh, could you use the lattice dye to do a background, or is it too thick? I did think about that, to be honest, but I was worried that I'd end up just getting ink all over it and not being able to properly get it off again, so I, I didn't. But let's find out. <clears throat> I'm just going to choose let's have a look let's choose a different color so this is doing it from the back you get a much thicker lattice like that um compared to this which would give you a thinner lattice but if you were trying to do like a shadow effect that could work so you could kind of double layer it so that that's the difference and um, that was the main thing is because of I'm not wanting to get ink all over my dye, really. Um, it's beautiful, says Trisha. Thank you. Cindy Fox Taylor said I'd love to win this. Might be hard on the branding brush. Thank you for testing. You're welcome. Right, any more for any more? Is it lacking? This is bugging me, so I'm just going to come back with that stamp. Oh, come on. Ah, don't break on me. <laughs> Tell my customers. It's fine. Be rough with the uh, ink pads. It's fine. That's better. That was just, you know. You know when it's like bugging you. Okay. Oh, the winner would be very happy. Thank you, thank you Sally Joe. Thank you, everybody. Right, it's better, isn't it? <laughs> no, right? It's really bugging me. Did I use... Yes, I used Smoky Slate. We've used all the colours. Okay. So, are we thinking add Dash or Winker Stella? Because I am. And do we want embellishments? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh, thank you, Ruth. Gorgeous, she says. And that, that means a lot coming from somebody who does this. Who I feel invented this kind of um, whole method of stamping. So, thanks. Ruth, that, that means a lot. So yes to the wink, yes to both. Right, embellishments. So we're just going to whack on... Whoa, whack on the wink. <laughs> That's very, very sparkly now, everybody. Very sparkly because it's gone. <laughs> it does need bling. Just yes to wink. Perfect for spring. So um, when do you thinking no embellies? Yes, wink. Oh, there we go. 
Well, it's it's almost round. I could probably do with just a little filler here, possibly. Okay, I could do. I know what I need. So you can always come back and just adapt it ever so slightly. Um, no more. <laughs> Step away. <laughs> oh, Joanna, thank you so much. Step away from the stamping. Just needs a little bit of. Okay, I feel like it needs to have like my initials in it somewhere now. We'll do a little special. There you go, teeny tiny signature. You'll never know. The colours work well together, even the black. Wow, see, viewer's choice. Yes, I knew it. I needed another pink bit there. <laughs> I did do a little smudge, but. Okay, everybody happy? Wow, look at that. 36 minutes and you've got yourself a lovely viewer's choice wreath. I'm going to bring it up a bit because sometimes it's not easy to see the. The detail so there you go so once you help me reach that 5,000 subscribers ah oh, thank you Celia nice to have you anybody who's new shout out if you're new so that we can say hello to you um I don't know how many subscribers I'm on, on at the moment but I'm nearly there so you can totally help me out by sharing the love did you know you could actually share this on Pinterest you can share it out, I think, onto YouTube, um, definitely onto Facebook and other social media platforms. So that'd be amazing. Thank you, everybody. Not that I'm really pushing for it or anything. <laughs> Sally Joe, I think you should forget the 5,000, just send it to me. <laughs> oh, Mary, thank you. Uh, so easy on the eyes, she says. Unbelievable. Please. Give Heather Sunflower Fields Designs. What a lovely name. A very warm welcome. It's her first live. Ellie says, I wish I was new, but I'm old. <laughs> Thank you, Wanda. Thumbs up for Esther, please. <clears throat> Great stuff. Wow. So, I'm very tempted to do a smaller version. Should, do you want to do that? Now that I've got bits and pieces out of my table, I'm just going to grab out... Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that suggestion from Karen and I'm just going to use my die. And I'm going to step down the pace and I might be able to tell you my, sto my story. Oh, thank you. What size is the paper? The big one is 12 by 12, but this is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. It's just like a mat and layer size that I use um, onto A6 card. So I'm going to just come around here. <coughs> So um, I'm yet to, I need to download my Facebook video from today, but in it I talk a lot about clothes because I went clothes shopping today in the charity shops and the shops because I'm going to a wedding and I was trying to look out for some clothes. And um, I went to a shop called New Look and um, I've been interrupted in this broadcast by Mary who says, one of my granddaughters just got engaged. So I go to try a smaller version. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Mary. Um, and uh, what was I saying? Went to the shop. And, oh, yes. Do you know those black baggy dungarees? Like, I see other people wear them. I love them. I think, oh, they're so cool. I want a pair. Anyway, treated myself to a pair in the sale. In the sale, but can I just say, still a bit expensive for my liking. Um... <laughs> You know how it goes. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. Um, so yes, I bought these pair of dungarees, amongst other things, and I was getting very thirsty, a bit tired, I needed to come home, rushing back for my live. And um, <clears throat> so came home, um, whipped on my, my clothes, trying them out. I have a phone booth. Said, "What do you think of this? What do you think it needs?" Blah blah blah, and. Um, I really would like to mask that bit off. I'm just going to cheat and use post-it notes. Hi, Celia. Ah, oh, have you been here before? Sorry, my other phone is making noises now. Be quiet. Hush. Um, I keep getting sidetracked. So, yeah, I rushed home. I was talking about my dungarees on my live. 
and I was like, oh, I've not actually come across them. I don't know what I've done with them. Um, I'm sure they're somewhere. Looked at my bed, couldn't find them. Looked downstairs, looked at my bag. It's like, no, they're definitely not here. What have I done with them? So, um, I was like, oh no. And then I was talking to another friend. I was like, oh no, don't tell me they've like fallen out of my bag. And I remember stopping to take a photograph of this very colourful moth that I was telling you all about earlier. And I thought, oh, don't tell me it's there. That, you know, it's a bit of a walk away. I've got to go back, all the way back there to go and see if I can find this. Um, my dungarees that have fallen out. Oh, it's like, oh no. And then on the way there, I thought, well, I'll phone the shop, see if they've maybe fallen out of my bag in the shop. Like, see if, you know, they're by the door and somebody's gone, oh, this has dropped on the floor, you know, or I don't know. So I phoned them and they sort of hadn't got a clue what I was on about. I was like, okay, they obviously don't have them there. Not seen them. Don't know what I'm on about. And um, they didn't have them. So I was like, oh. I was walking along and then I looked up and I spied something on some railings. I was like, oh, oh, is that it? <laughs> they looked very suspiciously like my dungarees. And uh, I, I got a bit closer. And sure enough, somebody out there, thank you, whoever you are, kindly picked them up and propped them up on the railings um so not all was lost because somebody was kind enough to to do that for me and my dungarees were found so I was very pleased because it was school rush out I could just imagine them being thrown into the road and uh, oh sorry you're chatting away to me and I'm telling you my story and um me never getting these back again so um Right, what are you asking? Are dungarees the same as blue jeans? Yeah, old dungarees are, yes, like traditional dungarees, but these are like a baggy, baggy <laughs> dungarees. It's like a jumpsuit, like an all in one with two straps at the top. Very cute, love them. So I'm going to channel my inner Wendy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm really pleased about that. But yes, they were. How much were they about? And actually, let's not discuss price because. <laughs> Whoops. I bought them. But yeah, in hindsight, I was thinking, God, oh, you know, they could have just been like chucked into the road and been like forgotten about or something. And but no, they weren't. Overall, yeah, like overalls, exactly like that. Yep. But more fashionable than just any old overalls, I have you know. <laughs> oh, dear. So that's my story, anyway, about my, my lost dungarees that got found again. So I'm pleased about that. Um, I think I've used nearly all the colours. Just got a bit of black. Shine. There we go. Uh, you're looking some in Tesco, baggy black ones. Glad you found it. Thank you. Yeah, these were from New Look, and I, I should go to, well, I go to New Look, and I'm like, oh, it's a bit youthful in there. <laughs> it's a bit young for my liking. But upstairs, they've got the kind of, it's called curves, which is the bigger sizes. <laughs> That's stuff in the sale, because sometimes the bigger sizes don't sell. But they're all, it was nice clothing. Anyway, you, it's got to be right, hasn't it? If it doesn't fit right, there's no point. So um, I did try on a few outfits. Um, yeah, some... There was one I was tempted to. Oh, yeah, I was totally telling you about that earlier. But the, the fabric was a little bit kind of staticky for my liking. So I did leave that. And it was still 15 quid in the sale. I was thinking, I don't know if I really want to spend that amount of money on something that's in the sale. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Got to be hard up with the old cash. Right. Um, just do a little bit of pink splat. Okay, now are we thinking 
Well, I'm thinking. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. <laughs> the royal we are we thinking? I was I was thinking. I want to know what it looks like on on parakeet, and then hmm, don't have any cut out. That's a bit strong, isn't it? A bit strong. No, I don't like that. Peter says no. Okay, um, what about hay in Mambo? Oh, I'm so sorry for yawning. A bit of zesty Mambo, perhaps. So let's trim this one down a little bit more. Actually, I've got a piece of no, that's not. So we're going to gut this one as we do. Um, polished or mambo? Polished or mambo? I was thinking mambo. The, un the forgotten colour. Mambo and grey granite, the two colours that get forgotten about. This needs a little trimbleage, uh, so three and seven eighths. Now, do I do a little sixteenth? What do you reckon? Is that? Let's have a look at the sixteenth mark. Um, um, see if that's noticeable or not. Sometimes it's a little border. Can look quite sexy, sexy border. Just got to grab out some mambo. Hello, Jackie. Show me your box of cut cards. Yes, ma'am. There you go. You can look at that. Stare at that for a minute while I look at the. Hey, mambo. Where are you? Oh, you're out already. We've been partying. I know it's oh sorry, the idea is there. <laughs> but sometimes in reality it doesn't always work out. You could end up using the colours that you use the most and blah blah blah. 14, 15, 5, 6, 7, 8 and a half. Other direction, please. What? The card or the... Did you mean like this? I hope that's what you mean, rather than scoring in half. I've done it now, Sheila. I've done it now. <clears throat> My tabs. Is that what you're talking about? So all right then. <laughs> You're welcome. This is so pretty, Esther. It says Ruthie. Thank you, Ruthie. Say hello to the ring light. Ooh. Okay. So do we think that's too tiny? Are we thinking we need a bigger border? That doesn't even look like pink in this screen, does it? What do you reckon? You get that vote, okay? You can get to vote that whether you think it needs a bigger border. I'm kind of thinking it does. I might just take a little smidge. A bit more border, yeah. Can hardly see the green. Bigger border. I'm going to just guesstimate a little bit here. More green showing. Oh, do you know what I've done earlier? I used this for glue and I didn't clean it out. Because <laughs> I knew that I could clean it later and then I forgot and now the glue's dried. She says, trying to get it out. There you go. Right, I'm just going to fix this real quick, as they say. This is a good lesson into how to clean your trimmer. So, because I've got it on my desk, I'm going to use Surgical Spirit. But you can use rubbing alcohol. And you can even buy something called 
I think it's actually just called glue remover. It's very good stuff, actually. So Surgical Spirit um, has got alcohol in it, so it will have the same effect, but alcohol is a lot stronger. Okay, come on, off you come. Oh, it's on the other side. It's like cleaning a window. <laughs> It's like cleaning the window going, why won't that bit of dirt come off? It's because it's on the other side. Right, which way does this go? It could go this way. And just snap that back in carefully, she says. Whose idea was it to take this thing out? There you go, that's the, that's the right way. I've got hay man by my head now. Where were we? Did we do? I don't think we did both sides. Getting well distracted, isn't it? So I think I just need to slip a bit of fur. Lovely bit of measuring there, Esther. Lovely. Green and pink is my favourite colour combo. Whoops, sorry. One of these days I've got scripts on my phone. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I'll do. It's handmade. That's better. Just a tiny bit more. I know, I should have done more, but um, I'm starting to lose the will. <laughs> be fine, be fine. So if you're interested in these beautiful project, project, products I've been showcasing tonight, you can head over to my online store. And if you are in France, England, so let's start with England, shall we? England, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands. You can actually order from me. Excuse me, I've got itchy nose. You can order from my online shop. And if you'd like a catalog, an English catalogue, you can get in touch with me. And I'll get one out to you. If you're ordering online, please use my host code, which I can give to you. If you're on Facebook, it'll be on the top of my Facebook page. Um, there's a special promotion, which has just got a few days left with the lovely In Colours. Um, one of which I used tonight, which is the Parakeet Party. Um, I think that's all there is to say about that, in the words of Forrest Gump. So if you totally missed this, I just, this was the viewer's choice. I've not done Wink of Stella. Just do that real quick. There we go. Right. End of. <laughs> there we go. So thank you so much for sticking with me with my creative journey today that was really fun and it actually probably turned out better than I ever thought it would I thought this is this could be room for a hot mess but you guys I trusted you enough to make some good decisions and um it happened it came about and it happened so well done you guys and yes I'll I'll do a giveaway and uh I'll even say it's open globally how about that because I'm feeling generous <laughs> oh thank you everybody i made a little matching card as well you might as well when you've got the stamps out you might as well just you know create a little baby a little mini me oh thank you thank you jackie nice to see you on here so yeah i'll leave it up for replay viewers so you can say hi on replay and leave me a comment Take care, enjoy the rest of your evening or day or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, it's amazing what a board of creative directors can do, says Joanna. <laughs> Indeed, Joanna. 
Indeed. I think I'll definitely try this again. See where it takes us next time. Love to see you all and I'll be back next Tuesday at nine o'clock and I'm back on Facebook at one o'clock. Actually, I've got half term next week, so hopefully I'll be back. I might have a little visitor who might want to sit with me and do some crafting with C. Thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. It really helps the old algorithms, which is the, the buzzword on YouTube. It just helps me to be discovered. So thank you. Thank you so much for the super chats. Thank you for the support. Thank you for commenting along. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say it enough and I'll keep saying it and I really do appreciate it. Um, it's been a fun evening. Take care. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.